Uh, thank you very much, everyone. As Alison said, the genesis for this uh, talk was uh, last year when I was the inaugural president of the design jury, and we had a terrific debate about the role of design in the many entries that we had uh, seen. 70% um, of the entries last year, and it's about 80% this year, of the entries in design come not from design agencies, but come from a wider range of agencies, advertising, media, film, direct, etc. Um, and it seemed to me that uh, it, was ti it would be timely um, just to talk about design and the role that design plays uh, across all of our disciplines. So I entitled this uh, little talk, Design Matters. It matters to me, and I hope it, I can conv convince that it should matter to most of you and to all the other people here at uh, Cannes. Um, design is at the heart, I believe, of all creative work. It's not just the prerogative of those of us that would uh, call ourselves uh, designers, um, but it really, it really is, I believe, at the heart of our consumers, of us designers, um, and of our agencies. It's of everybody. It's a gene that's present in everybody, and it would be con a conceit of us to believe that only uh, designers know about design. Now, I know CAN is meant to be a great deal of fun, so I hope you won't feel that this uh, talk is uh, too serious. Um, but I want to give you a number of reasons, perhaps ten, perhaps ten altogether, why design should not be taken for granted. And I want to illustrate uh, some of those uh, points. Um, I believe it to be the hope of the world, and I'll explain why. But when design is bad, it is terrible. It becomes no longer the hope of the world, but a disaster for the world. It's a universal language. It transcends geographies and boundaries. Um, and the people really care about it. Ordinary people really care about it. It's a very public affair. It's not something that you do for your boss or with your client. What we do is a very public affair. Um, and it's a participative and engaging activity for everyone in a wider field. It is the handmaiden of innovation and our children live by it. It's the bedrock, I believe, of modern business, and it's what you do. So for those reasons alone, yet alone a great deal of others, um, I think design matters. Let me start with the first one. It's the hope of the world. Design responds and creates much of the uh, human condition. It responded to the conditions that existed in the Industrial Revolution in the end of the, toward the end of the 18th century, which that picture on the left, painted by a Frenchman of the Industrial Revolution in Britain, a place called Colebrook Dow, uh, when the pollution and the sustainability of the world was again in question as a result of that Industrial Revolution. And it was design that came to the rescue by creating sewers, by creating exhibitions, creating better buildings, creating better homes, creating better, bit, better products, all of which were exemplified in the 1851 exhibition which took place um, in Britain. I mean, it was the first worldwide expo when everyone who was in design, they didn't think of themselves as designers, but everyone who was in design could show their products. And for me, all of that era and the hope of the world is uh, encapsulated by the picture of that rather stern-looking man with a beard um, called William Morris. He happens to be my favourite designer. He's an Englishman, um, very, very active at the end of the, between the middle and the end of the 19th century. He was a poet, he was a painter, he was a designer, he was a writer, he was a social reformer. He was all the things that I think a designer should be not just a practical man, but a thinking man and a social man, a man with a conscience, a man who could see that the power of design was to give hope. Indeed, at a moment like this in 1888, standing in front of a quite large audience in Birmingham, not very far from where those chimneys were smoking like that, in one of the moments of questions, he was asked by a woman in the audience, Mr. Morris, what is the purpose of design? And his reply was to give hope give hope, madam. And I believe that to be the case, 
that it is design that will help to save our world. It is design that will create the better products. It is design that will communicate with our, uh, with our audiences, various audiences, clients and people alike. That picture of, the, of a city as an eco-city being built in, in Tajing, even at this very moment, a complete city where a number of designers and architects have been brought together to create the city of the future. It'll be designers who will solve the transportation problems and move from a petrol engine to an electric form of transport. We're already beginning to see this in packaging, where packaging responsibility through design is going to be more sustainable. And it will be through design, as we see next door with Act Responsible with uh, Kofi Annan, that will solve many of the problems of the third world. And because of that, I believe design is a major force for, for the improvement of the world and for its hope.